this shit out of your vehicle, gon' bite on my swag as a virus. Oh, I done the swag and I pull up on bitches dressing all white like my seven. Yeah. Everyone hears something different when they listen to Young Thug. Me coat with the rolls like a sharp bay. And all of my bitches says they call him Barbe. Genius's own annotations are full of arguments over what exactly Thug is trying to say. Honey bay, honey bay, dropped on the head of any nigga wanted me. And that's the point. Young Thug once told Fader, quote, I don't want to explain. I hate explaining, but I could definitely show you. Young Thug's delivery is really natural. It's informal speech. It's the way you speak at home with uh, close friends. That's Darren. He was featured in a Wired article about how Thug is evolving language, and he's fascinated by the way Thug warps his words. It's what we linguists call reduction in speech. What people do when they're not self-monitoring, they're not performing for someone else, so they're not hyper-articulating. And what he's delivering then is a more natural, authentic kind of speech. And on top of that, he's delivering emotions. Intonation is both uh, emotive and evocative. So Young Thug is uh, warping his lyrics into all these different kinds of paths and ways, and he's able to make the listener feel those emotions. And also, everyone can hear something different. But there is lyricism in what Thug is saying. And his ad libs may seem repetitive, but they serve a purpose that's backed up by research. Uh, he's exploring the fact that you can recycle a word or phrase with multiple meanings in different contexts, and also recycling a phrase with slightly different intonations that ha each have an emotion. And it's really enjoyable. And this is proven uh, in a study with a, a Russian actor in the 50s. Uh, he was asked by famous linguists to say the same word 50 times, but in different circumstances, and only switching up the tone of how he said it. Uh, when his recordings were played back to people, uh, those people were able to decode most of the messages correctly. That is, they were able to figure out the emotion and the context of each utterance. Knowing this, let's take a look at some of Thug's favorite ad-libs, like, skirt! Rest on, rest on, rest. Just might pull up on my slider. All my diamonds black. You can motherfucking night em. All these pussy nigga wet. I'm a Merkel there he extends the ad-lib to underpin boasting and then ends the sound on the mention of his viper, a car. On constantly hating, he uses it to intimate a quick getaway. They punctuate statements differently depending on how they're said and where they're used. Another favorite of Thugs is Sheesh. I got 20 chains on me, they gon' chill just like some deal. Sheesh, sheesh! Unintelligible lyrics aren't new in hip hop or even contemporary music. People have been famously misinterpreting Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze for years. I'm back in Berlin, but I don't know why. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. It's the sky, not this guy. And in a lot of hard rock, you can barely discern what the singer is saying, but you sure can feel it. Young Thug's music sounds different depending on the listener. And while Thugger is often labeled as a mumble rapper, there is meaning behind his third speech. Whether or not it's considered dope, however, is up to the listener. And to be honest, I doubt Thug even cares. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace.